Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust, talking about that Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And we have a double header here. We've got update for main branch uh, 1.31. We're going to go over the patch notes, and we also have some of the skin store rotation. We're going to go through some of that as well. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's make this one quick. Update 131 patch notes. And again, this is for main Rust, also known as normal Rust, or just regular Rust. Hello survivors, we hope you're all having a great week. Today we bring you a brand new update to Rust Console Edition. This update 131 aims to fix some gameplay issues, update some of the textures on the oil rigs, and fix some crashes. Uh, fix a crash when moving items up crafting queue, up the crafting queue. Fix a crash that could occur when accessing the locker while offline. Fix a crash when banned players try to join a friend on a server. Fix heavy scientists getting stuck above the oil rig a helipad after the Chinook drops them off. Fix players being able to shoot through trees with 556. Five, uh, fixed an issue that could cause the attack helicopter to disappear when in combat. Fixed respawn trees sometimes getting harvested in one hit. Texture updates for oil rig monuments. And that's all we have so far. Now, if you're like, hey, this sounds familiar to testing branch. Well, as we said, testing branch gets it first. And then once it's stabilized, it's pushed over. So before we go over the skins, just want to let you know that it this is important that it's coming to main branch. A, because of the fixes. But B, this uh, could clear the pathway for our next um, PTB update or testing branch update. So fingers crossed. Still not sure what that's going to be. Hope it's something substantial for us, whether it be transportation horses power surge or something else we don't know yet but still uh, we're just going over that here just eh, just thought we'd throw it out there it's uh, worth noting that once these things get pushed to main branch then it's you know PTBs up next okay so we did get a skin store rotation I think they're all pretty sharp we have four sets here we're gonna go over them pretty quickly we have the watered steel veteran set uh, going for uh, 1960 RC and again once you get about three items it's usually worth a bundle if that's the way you want to go or you can just hand pick them I understand, you know, it's, uh, you know, they cost money, so it's a thing. I think it's great we have another MP5 skin, a Python skin. I'm always a fan of the LR skin, and these look pretty sharp, too. Uh, we have the metal chest plate and the uh, face mask also. Okay, on uh, to the next one here. We have pixel architecture. You know, I'm a big fan of deployables. This one's very reasonable at 970 RC. Uh, we got box skins, always good for sorting and organizing. Um, always a fan of garage doors. Here's here's what's great is we have a sheet metal door and a wooden door. Now, I'm not sure. No, is, if somebody has already gotten this, I haven't had a chance to check it yet. I don't think that's a visible heart window like it is on PC. Um, please let us know in the comments down below if you have one, if that's transparent or not. I believe it's just a gray heart, but I could be mistaken, so we'll have to wait and see what that's all about. I don't think it's transparent, but it would be cool if it was. <coughs> all right, so we have furnaces also to denote whether or not you have metal cooking there or sulfur. Always a big fan of skins for that. And again, if you want to handpick them, by all means. Um, just always a big fan of deployables. So again, I thought that was pretty reasonable for 970. If you're looking to spruce up your collection with a garage door, sheet metal door, large box, and even a furnace, I think this set's pretty dang good. Uh, this one's interesting. We have the Desert Camel Warrior set going for a 980 RC. We have the Mr. Timmy has made the appearance. We have road sign gloves, also relatively rare. The Combat Kniff, and we have boots and the road sign kilts. Road sign kilt. These are really good if you already have the other set. These help combine those, so you've got a complete camo set for the desert. So I think that one's pretty sharp. Again, the 980, I think, is quite reasonable. Once you get roughly, what is it, three of these, again, making the bundle worthwhile if you're in the market for it. And the last one we have here, which I think is quite interesting, not only the, the skin itself, but I, I like the fact that this is all a weapon set, and it's really a reasonably priced at 480 RC. Again, if you're looking for uh, ways to spruce up your weapon collection, this is definitely a good set to get. You've got all the major uh, heavy hitters here. You've got Mr. Timmy, Mr. Sour Piece, Pumpy, uh, MP5, Lar Piece, and Assault Rifle. These are all the big ones. So, uh, you know, if you're in the market, this is definitely a, a steal, I think. Probably one of the better ones. Um, definitely the best one for this rotation. So check it out. That's what we have so far. We've got the update for Main Branch. Fingers crossed. We'll see what PTB brings for us here in the near future. Um, any movement across the board for updates is always good for us here on Rust Console Edition. Very excited for it. Hopefully we see you guys in the mix. Stay tuned. We might have a, 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 a Rust community event here in March. Um, so stay tuned for that. A good reason to subscribe and turn on those notifications. And again, drop that like if you find it useful and helpful. We'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.